When the president addresses the nation in his State of the Union, it's really important for him to remind the American people of the economic wreckage in this country caused by Wall Street's crash of the financial system. By January of 2009, when President Obama took office, the economy was in a free fall and the country was actually facing a second Great Depression. 27 million Americans were either unemployed or underemployed. There were more than 16 million foreclosure filings in the United States. Over one third of the homes in the United States were underwater. Housing, the environment, civil rights, health care, research and development, education, all the priorities of the American people and the nation. If you care about them, you also must care about financial reform because the last financial crisis cost this country $20 trillion. That's $20 trillion that didn't go to all the other priorities of the American people. The good news is the economy is doing extremely well and remarkably well given the economic shock that it had. Although there are still too many people unemployed, there are still too many underwater homes, and there's still too much economic stress and anxiety on the middle class. One of the best ways to address that is to fully implement financial reform quickly and finally. To prevent another crash and more economic wreckage, three things have to be done. First, the Dodd-Frank financial reform law has to be fully implemented. The rulemaking must be finished. Number two, the cops on the Wall Street beat at the CFTC and the SEC must be fully funded. And number three, we have to restore accountability on Wall Street so that if you commit a crime on Wall Street or Main Street, you get punished, held accountable, and deterred from doing it again. Wall Street was reckless, got the bonuses, the American people got the bill. Preventing that from ever happening again has to be a priority of everyone in the country, and it's the priority of better markets.